the present Palestine-Israel conflict. El Al, the recent escalation of violence between Israel and Palestine erupted in May 2023, sparked by tensions in Jerusalem, particularly around the Sheikh Jarrah neighborhood and the Al-Aqsa Mosque compound. Palestinian protests against the potential eviction of several Palestinian families from Sheikh Jarrah by Israeli settlers and the heavy-handed response by Israeli security forces fueled unrest, leading to clashes and violence. Attack on Gaza As tensions escalated, the militant group Hamas, which controls the Gaza Strip, began launching rockets into Israeli territory. Israel responded with a series of airstrikes targeting Hamas infrastructure, militants, and rocket-launching sites in Gaza. The exchange of fire led to a significant escalation in violence, resulting in widespread destruction and loss of life on both sides. Casualties The casualties resulting from the conflict have been devastating, with the majority being civilians, including women and children. According to reports from the United Nations and other humanitarian organizations, thousands of Palestinians have been killed and thousands more have been injured in the airstrikes and shelling. Destruction in Palestinian Localities The airstrikes and shelling by Israeli forces have caused extensive damage to infrastructure, including residential buildings, schools, hospitals, and vital facilities such as water and sanitation systems. Entire neighborhoods in Gaza have been reduced to rubble, displacing tens of thousands of Palestinians from their homes and exacerbating an already dire humanitarian situation in the besieged enclave. Humanitarian Issues and Aid The conflict has exacerbated existing humanitarian challenges in Gaza, including shortages of food, water, fuel, and medical supplies. The blockade imposed by Israel, in coordination with Egypt, has severely restricted the movement of people and goods in and out of Gaza, exacerbating the suffering of its population. Humanitarian organizations, including the United Nations Relief and Works Agency for Palestine Refugees, UNRWA, and various NGOs, have been providing assistance to those affected by the conflict, but their efforts have been hampered by access restrictions and security concerns. Role of Western Countries Western countries, including the United States and several European nations, have condemned the violence and called for an immediate ceasefire and a return to negotiations. However, their responses have varied in terms of urgency and effectiveness. While some Western countries have exerted diplomatic pressure on both parties to de-escalate and engage in dialogue, others have been criticized for perceived bias towards Israel, or for failing to take decisive action to address the root causes of the conflict. In addition to diplomatic efforts, Western countries have provided humanitarian aid to support relief efforts in Gaza and other affected areas. However, Many have also faced criticism for maintaining military and economic support for Israel, despite allegations of human rights abuses and violations of international law during the conflict. The role of Western countries as key stakeholders in the Israeli-Palestinian conflict will be crucial in shaping the path forward and ensuring that the rights and dignity of all those affected are upheld. The Human Toll of Conflict A Closer Look at the recent Israel-Palestine War. This video examines the recent escalation of violence between Israel and Palestine, focusing on the origins of the conflict, attacks on Gaza, casualties, destruction in Palestinian localities, humanitarian challenges, aid efforts, and the role of Western countries. Through detailed analysis, it sheds light on the devastating impact of the war on civilians and underscores the urgent need for a comprehensive and sustainable solution to the long-standing Israel-Palestine conflict. Drawing parallels between the actions of Israel and the atrocities of the Nazi regime during the Holocaust is a deeply sensitive and contentious issue, fraught with complexities. While some critics have likened certain Israeli policies and actions to those of the Nazis, particularly regarding the treatment of Palestinians, 
Holocaust and Israeli Actions The Holocaust, perpetrated by the Nazi regime during World War II, was a systematic genocide that resulted in the mass murder of six million Jews, along with millions of other marginalized groups, including Romani people, disabled individuals, and political dissidents. The Holocaust represents one of the darkest chapters in human history, characterized by the dehumanization, persecution, and extermination of millions of innocent people solely on the basis of their ethnicity, religion, or political beliefs. In contrast, the actions of the Israeli government, particularly in the context of the Israeli-Palestinian conflict, involve complex political, military, and security considerations. Critics of Israel's policies point to instances of human rights abuses, collective punishment, and disproportionate use of force against Palestinian civilians, including demolitions of Palestinian homes, restrictions on movement, and military operations in densely populated areas, such as Gaza. While some parallels can be drawn between certain aspects of Israeli actions and historical injustices, it is crucial to recognize the significant differences between the Holocaust and the Israeli-Palestinian conflict, equating the two risks, oversimplifying complex geopolitical realities and trivializing the unique horrors of the Holocaust. As the conflict has raged on, other world leaders have flipped this comparison. Colombian President Gustavo Petro claimed that Gaza resembles the Warsaw Ghetto, and Russian President Vladimir Putin likened the IDF's ground invasion to Hitler's siege of Leningrad. Israeli leadership has not been careful with Holocaust comparisons either. Take Israel's envoy to the UN, which, on October 30th, chose to don yellow stars of David while speaking to the Security Council. The Israeli Defense Minister, Yoav Gallant, said, Gaza won't return to what it was before. Hamas won't be there. We will eliminate everything. Nisim Vaturi, a member of the Israeli parliament for the ruling Likud party, to take another example, called for erasing the Gaza Strip from the face of the earth. There are many other such expressions by Israeli politicians and senior army officers. Complexities of the Israeli-Palestinian conflict the Israeli-Palestinian conflict is a multifaceted and deeply entrenched struggle involving competing national narratives, territorial disputes, security concerns, and historical grievances. Both Israelis and Palestinians have experienced violence, displacement, and trauma, and efforts to resolve the conflict have been hindered by deep-seated mistrust, extremism, and external geopolitical dynamics. Rather than resorting to inflammatory comparisons, efforts should focus on promoting dialogue, reconciliation, and a just resolution to the Israeli-Palestinian conflict. International law, human rights principles, and respect for the dignity and rights of all individuals should guide efforts to address grievances, alleviate suffering, and build a future of peace and coexistence in the region. In conclusion, while some critics have drawn parallels between Israeli actions and the atrocities of the Holocaust, it is essential to approach such comparisons with caution and sensitivity. The Israeli-Palestinian conflict presents unique challenges and complexities that require nuanced understanding and constructive engagement to achieve a sustainable and just resolution. Efforts to address grievances, promote reconciliation, and uphold human rights are essential steps towards building a future of peace and dignity for all peoples in the region.